Hi everyone, uh, playing Championship Manager 0102. I'm going to look at a little bit of a quirk in the transfer system on the game. So when you go to buy a player and make an offer, <clears throat> you can usually just offer straight money. You can use it in uh, offering instalments. Um, I've been looking at what's going to happen if we offer to pay an extra fee after making 10 league appearances, but then can't afford to play it. So I've already signed four players uh, into Derby County. Now they don't cost that much. I had a budget of about 9 million to start the season. They don't cost that much to start with, but I've all uh, added on 5 million fee after 10 league appearances. So these top three players have all got 5 million fees. Uh, still to pay after another three games. Uh, Darren Williams unfortunately got injured, so he's only played three games. So, uh, if we have a look at finances, uh, they're pretty in a pretty bad way. I started off with nine million, so you already spent uh, spent all that on. Uh, these players have also been offering new contracts to existing players just to keep the money down. The board have just injected 3.8 million to keep the club from falling into receivership. So we're going to see what happens in another few games uh, when I owe 15 million pounds on transfer fees. I've never done this before, I've no idea what's going to happen. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, so I'm lining up for the 10th game uh, with these three players. I have absolutely no idea what's going to happen when the uh, clause kicks in and I need to pay £5 million for each of these players to uh, Rangers, Sunderland and Celtic. I can't imagine that the game would like void the transfer and would send the players back to their own clubs, or the previous clubs. I don't know how that would work. Um, it wouldn't really seem very fair if you just didn't have to pay the extra £5 million that you've included in the transfer. But, like I say, I don't know what's going to happen. I'll play the game, we'll pick it up, and we'll see what happens in a second. OK, so the game is finished. A 2-0 loss for Derby against Newcastle. That leaves Derby right in the relegation zone. Um, so, I'll press continue. And we'll see what happens when the clauses kick in. I assume that it'll just put Derby straight into receivership. <laughs> I really don't know what's going to happen, so let's see. Okay, let's go to news. So we've paid five million each to Sunderland, Celtic, and Rangers. The board are unhappy. Let's see what that's done to the finances. Awful lot of reds there. So we've obviously four, 14 million pounds in debt. I'll carry on with the game. We'll see what's going to happen. Okay, so a few weeks on, the receivers have been called in to deal with financial problems at Derby County. So if anyone comes in for a player, can't receive many, uh, can't refuse any reasonable offers for transfers. So, awful lot of red there. Carry on playing for a bit and we'll see what happens. A few more weeks on. Lost a, uh, a game 4-0 against Leicester. The fans demonstration after the game. I backed the players. The fans remain unconvinced. So, they're not happy with, uh, with my running of the club at the moment. <clears throat> Got a League Cup game against Nottingham Forest coming up. I think if we lose that one, it might be the end. Out of a job before Christmas. Let's see what happens. So I kind of uh, tipped the balance a bit here. Put Ravenelli in goal, played some kind of 1 3 2 4 formation and lost 7 0. Let's see what happens. So gone with that formation again. At Lewis Hunting goal, we got a 1 rating in a 13 0 loss to Leeds. Surely can't survive much longer than, uh, than this. 
They still haven't sacked me. I can't believe it. <clears throat> Supporter protest. The board's furious at performance. Another 10-0 loss to Aston Villa. Financial situation is a great cause for concern, it says here. So I don't know what's going to happen. I, I don't know how many enormous results can go against us and the board still not sack me. They still haven't sacked me. It's the middle of December. I've just been given the dreaded vote of confidence from the chairman though, so I'm sure it won't be much longer. There we go. Boxing Day, <clears throat> 2001. Derby manager Wayne Rooney sacked. <laughs> I can't believe it took so long. 10-1, uh, 8-0, 13-0, 5-0, 9-0, another 13, a 7-0. And bottom of the Premier League by a long way. And it took that long to uh, to get rid of me. Anyway, <clears throat> the conclusions, the transfer, um, hack didn't really work uh, you just have to pay the money even if you haven't got it and it was just gives you long-term financial problems so that's not really a way around uh, spending money that you haven't got so I'll try and do another video on uh, a few different things on championship manager soon thanks for watching